evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ecology and healthy living news. This is the ecology and healthy living news. He is David Fumistone. And this is David A. Big. Over the next day, we will tell you all of the big stories from the wonderful resort of Selly. And all that is happening here at Ecology and Healthy Living Youth Exchange. Now to our reporter, Maria Mastoridu in the UK. Davide, David, ladies and gentlemen, hello from England. As you can see, I'm in the underground in London. Overground is the Buckingham Palace. Today, I'm going to speak to you about something that has nothing to do with the underground or Buckingham Palace. I'm going to speak to you about garbages. Garbages. Rubbies, as they like to call them here in the United Kingdom. Personal, I don't like to call them rabbits because they remind me of this cute animal, the rabbits. So anyway, as we all know, in our countries, they're providing us with different color beans so we can separate our garbages in recycled or non-recycled. And that's exactly what they're doing in this country as well. But not only three colors, lots of colors, all the colors of the rainbow. So I stayed here for one year and I made a big, big research about recycling in London. And I'm ready to reveal the secret. So this is the secret. If you want to recycle paper, especially your newspaper, the only thing that you have to do is just leave it inside the train on a seat and somebody else can read the same newspaper. And that's the idea of recycling. So from here, from London, from underground, David, Davide, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice evening. I will see you tomorrow from a different country. Thanks, Maria, for your report. In other ecology news, Davide, did you know that an American uses three times as much energy as an Italian? <gasps> Davide, did you know that the most of the water we use is for showering and bathing? <gasps> so, do the world a favor and don't wash this week. And now a word from our sponsor. We are here with the inventor of the sticky things. So, why did you invent the sticky things? Because I was uh, all the time losing my things, never knowing where my things, and I want to know where my things. And uh, I know that uh, something happened to you some few days ago. Yes, yes, I am losing my wallet. I'm so unhappy. I wish I invented the sticky thing before so I don't lose my wallet. And where uh, you are when you lose this? Is I was in uh, the aeroplane in uh, EasyJet. It was not so easy, but easy I lost my wallet. So, the sticky things is a very good invention. It's the best. A lot of people love it, eh? You can see from uh, the advertisement a lot of people are loving it. Perfect, thank you. Don't lose your things, you, you sticky thing. thing. Τι στα κομμάτια τώρα, τι κάνω 
Tora. Finally, last night the Malteser group arrived. As our camera people were sleeping at the time, we managed to find a video of another participant arriving late to another youth exchange. The Slovakian guy is just arrived! Quick! Where is he? We have to find him! Patrick! 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 Hi, hi. How was your trip? Mm, fine, very fine. <laughs> How many days? <laughs> three days. <laughs> three days? You took three days to come from Slovakia? <laughs> mm, yeah, no, I... Hello. You will uh, work. You're stressing um, him. I have a problem with my ID card and I must... Uh, Make making new. Making new, yeah. The VIP Patrick is in Fair Play House. <laughs> Welcome. Do you want to say something? Say hi to your country. Uh, hi. hi Slovakia. Hi mom. Hi mom. Hi Slovakia. <laughs> As you can see from the following video, the Maltese are feeling so comfortable even for their first time in the snow. Have, Have a good, good evening. evening and, and happy, happy